Hello there, I am Dr. C.N. Okolubo. You're welcome to my YouTube channel where we'll be solving problems relating to business mathematics, business statistics, analysis for business decision, as well as other related topics. I want to encourage you as you go through these videos with me, you have your paper, your pen, and your calculator to solve these problems with me. Also, please do like, share, and subscribe so that you can receive notifications for upcoming videos that will be uploading. Thank you. Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me once again on this channel. I want to appreciate your followership. I want to appreciate how you've been leaving comments on the on the um, on the videos that you've been watching. And I want to appreciate how you've been following what we've been doing. Today we are going to look at something new on probability still. But this is looking at the multiplication rule of probability we had looked at addition rule and addition rule has two uh, sides to it that is if the events are mutually exclusive and or if the events are not mutually exclusive in the case of multiplication rule we'll be looking at whether the events are independent of each other or the events are dependent on each other, especially when the second the uh, second event is dependent on the outcome of the first event. So, in the multiplication rule, we're going to look at two, two scenarios. Scenario one is when the events are independent. That's to say, the outcome of the first one has nothing to do with the outcome of the second one or the third one let's look at what we have on the board as i'm going to be making some notes so as you can see uh the multiplication rule multiplication rule has two e um two um issues where we have independent independent events that is, outcome of the first one has nothing to do with the outcome of the second one. And especially where um, the event, where one event happens and there is, there is replacement replacement this is this is very important there is replacement in independent events there's replacement now independent events example of independent event is uh, one die tosts or uh, one die casts one die casts twice this is an example of independent events or two dice cast once. The outcome of one die does not affect the outcome of the second die. So these are examples of two independent um, events. So or you are talking about some of um, two die, two dice cast at once. So <clears throat> that's what we mean by um, independent event now let's look at an example of an independent event um, example is what is the probability what is the probability of getting getting a head from the toss of a coin and five from the throw of a die. So this is a, this is a question. This is an example of independent events. The tossing of a coin has nothing to do 
with the throwing of a die. This is the two independent event. So what do you do in independent event? Is that the probability of A and B is going to be the probability of A times the probability of B. These are two independent events happening. So in this case, probability of getting ahead from the throw of a from the, from the toss of a coin is one all over two. And then the probability of getting five from the throw of a die is one all over six. So the probability of head and five in this case is one all over two times one all over six. What are we going to get? One times one is one, then one, two times six is 12. So this is the answer that we have. So this is the probability of um, two independent events. Another example is looking at what is the probability of getting two and four? What is the probability of getting two and four? Now, take note that the operational word with independent event is and. When from a die thrown twice. Take note that this is a die thrown twice. If it's a die that is thrown once, we cannot have two and four. We'll have two or four. But since we're throwing it twice, then we can have two and four. So in this case, the probability of getting two, as we know, is one over six. And the probability of getting four is also one over six. So the probability of two and four from the when you throw a die twice will be one all over six times one all over six. So the answer will be one all over thirty six. The answer will be one all over thirty six. So this is the example of having to pick, of having um, um, example of throwing a die twice. Now, how about an example of, oh, please follow me to this side, so that we have example three. How about, what is the probability, what is the probability of getting three and six when when two dice is thrown okay so two dice is thrown once okay of course well, of course once okay now Probability of getting three is one all over six. Probability of getting six is one all over six. So the probability of three and six is going to be one over six times one all over six. And then the answer is still one all over 36. Take note of that. This is probability of two independent events uh, that we have two independent events where we have the outcome of one has nothing to do with the outcome of the other. This is an example. Watch out for another video on uh, looking at independent events with probability. Thank you.